connect at Rosie on the house wants to know what to do with his roof that sustained a little wind and rain damage before the roofers can get out there. Not unusual kind of call we get here at Rosie on the house during the monsoon events. But before we talk to Bill about getting up on the roof, a couple things. There isn't any tool you have at your house that causes more trips to the emergency room than a ladder. Don't take it for granted. Proceed with caution. Never get on a roof when it's wet or storming. Wait till the storm is gone. Now, with that said, we've put together a series here of uh, videos on how to tarp, depending on the kind of roof you have. And you can see the science of roof tarping on our YouTube channel. Just go to rosieonthehouse.com slash videos. Living with the monsoon in Arizona, it's Rosie on the house here to kind of give you a couple tips on how to navigate some of the hazards and pitfalls of the monsoon. And one of those are roof leaks. We've already talked in the prior segment about how never to get on the roof during a storm or while it's wet. Now we're gonna to talk today with one of the seven Rosie certified roofing contractors in the whole state of Arizona, Mr. Jim McLean of Canyon State Roofing, who's gonna take us through the science of tarping the hardest roof there is, the concrete tile roof. Jim, good morning. Thanks hey, for joining good, me up on the roof. Absolutely, this Rosie. Is, this is your office. This is it right here. This is it right here. And we're fortunate that we don't have to be off a 12-12 pitch or something like that. But Amen. Yeah, this is this is a good example of uh, what we run into uh, hundreds of times a year during the monsoon season. And the biggest thing here that we want to express is it's, it's, it's not simple. They need to be secured right. It usually does require more than one person, um, certainly somebody that's trained. That's what I think we're going to show you today. One of the things I'm going to want to impress upon the homeowners is, you know, uh, some of the reasons they may not want to try, try this themselves is uh, how many hours of OSHA training does your crew require before they're allowed to get up on a roof? Yeah, you know, before they even start, they go through a 40-hour uh, OSHA training class. And then we go through 10-hour uh, retraining every, every year to two years. So that training encompasses everything from... From, from ladder safety to uh, fall protection to electrical, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. believe it or not, yeah. has, yeah. has it, I mean, we don't use aluminum ladders in some situations because of electrical things. You need to understand why. And, and that's what that, that OSHA training does for us and, and keeps us tuned up and keeps well, us safe. Let's show them a couple tricks and tips for the science <laughs> of tarping. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, where do we start? All right, so um, I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out where the leak is, is, is showing up inside the house. The leak isn't where the wind damage was. Well, it's leaking down here on the wall. We need to make sure that whatever we cover, that we're covering that whole entire area. We identify where the leak is. Then we have to identify the size of the tarp, right? I don't want to go get a 50 by 50 tarp, <laughs> which is huge. So we want to get the, the smallest tarp that we can that, that we can fit in that in that spot. So in this particular case, we've got a 10 by 16. Folks, what y'all may not realize is this tile, that's not your roof. That's just decoration. <laughs> the yeah. roof that keeps you dry inside is what's ever underneath that tile. You can watch Hugo up here walking around on that tile like a cat. Doesn't break a single one. Chances are, any one of you homeowners got up there, you'd break every one you stepped on. So it's another reason to be real careful. Absolutely. All right, let's get this thing covered. All right, so. Uh, and, 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 and anchor. And anchor the down. Anchoring's a key. And, and anchoring's a, a big part of it. Like I said, you could just lay it up there and, and, and put a couple ropes on there and call it good. There are times we use ropes. That's on a roof you can't walk on. This is a roof we can walk on. This is probably. 80%, 90% of Arizona roofs. So what we do want to do, we want to go up and over a ridge, beyond or up and over a hip. The ridge is the peak of the roof. We want to get over the top of that. And the hip is the, the areas that come down this way. So we want to get on, I call them definitive stopping points. We're isolating this spot and that's what we want to do for now because we know this is leaking. This tarp should be big enough. So we have to line this up where we're gonna be able to catch these, these tiles. These t the edges of these tiles. That's the other thing about most tile, is it isn't nailed down. It's all loose, you just pick it up. 
Yeah, the first three rows are, 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 are nailed. Everything else is loose and you, can, and, you, and you can pretty well get to it. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna lift the corners. We're gonna take these, right? So we want this, ta this, ta um, this tarp, this corner of this tarp, to stop to where we've got about six inches past that tile so we can tuck. We will eventually tuck all this underneath here. But we're sizing the tarp now for, for now. So then we'll stretch, we'll come around to this side. I mean the tarp is the tarp. We we may have some slack, we may have some extra space. Right? We want to keep it square. We want to keep it halfway neat. So now we're 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 kind of we're nice and square here. So um, we know uh, where our stopping point is here. So then we'll take this corner down here. Now these are a little different because the way the tile laps. So it's, 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 it's more complicated. And this is where you can really do more damage than good. But that's, that's what you're gonna do. There's cleats in there that hold this, kind of crimp all that together. So that's gonna hold pretty good. Okay, so then we'll, once he gets, gets that secured, then we'll be able to go through and tuck all these back in, okay? Let me come in and interject this. Some of you that are attuned to OSHA standards may be concerned about these guys walking this so roof, uh, not roped off, uh, like we were talking about all the safety precautions that are necessary. Can. Well, know this, we've got less than a three foot fall all the way around this roof. So we're well within OSHA guidelines. This is pretty solid right here. This 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 could take a lot of wind to pull this off of here. Yeah. The opposite side of that ridge is this same this same design. Locked in. It's locked in. It's not going to go anywhere. So we're going to pull this last side tight. We're probably a little premature with the sandbags. We probably we, we're going to usually put those on the last. So let's secure that side, Hugo. for the camera. <laughs> I'm made for radio. <laughs>